Jai Shumata Ji, Good morning everyone. Let's all settle down. Let's go down to Shramata Ji, Reza Mother Kundalini and Put Bandhan. will take Shri Ganesh Mantra.
in this meditative state we will now hear shramata ji speech so you must have proper discretion about yourself are we ascending or descending are we losing our steps are we going higher in our steps which sometimes we do not realize that we are amidst the first possible negativity in the history of this universe in the older times there would be only one rakshas at a time one had to deal with it was so easy to deal with one rakshasa but to deal with so many of them already needs lot of work but the worst part about it is that in the modern times these rakshasas have entered into the brains of people because of their teachings because of their delusions people have accepted them and these people are my children they are seekers they are seekers of truth it's like people using children for a ransom they put the children before me and i don't know what to do if i try to kill the devils then the children are in front so which is the best way is to destroy in modern times of course they can be killed they can die but how am i to save the people whom they have polluted whom they have wronged is a very very difficult and very delicate work for that the only way is to bring them to a point where they get completely exposed they are debased and the whole world knows who are they how they look like so instead of fighting them from outside or just asking yama to go and kill them it's best is to make their own being caught into the web of a kada shatuda so that they are exposed to people by their mistake that is the advantage i should say a part of the ugly game of falsehood falsehood always gets exposed you can see writ large on their faces their hypocrisy their evil intentions and their satanic schemes as i said that modern times are the worst for these attacks we have to be more alert more aware more understanding as such of us you all are very well equipped but we all the time forget that we have got our vibrations that we have got a new awareness of vibrations we have got vibratory awareness and these vibratory awareness are a kind of a messenger which is absolute which communicates and which tells us what's wrong with others what's wrong with us but if you start taking your decision to your mental emotional uh enterprises 
then be sure that you will be misguided. Because all these endeavors are one-sided. Like a mental projection goes like this in a linear way, falls upon you. And also a emotional one does the same. Even the physical is just the same. But when you start seeing through the vibrations, what do you do? Is to ask your spirit to communicate to you. And the spirit is the absolute knowledge. So you do not succumb to your conditioning or to your ego or to any other training or any other guru but yourself. So it is very important for all of you to understand that we are not going to take any decision on our mental level but on our vibrations. Many a people think that if I say something about someone, maybe because they have reported it to me. But supposing if I am the source of all the vibrations, what is there for me to get reported? Why should anybody report to me? If they want to report, they may, but I know what exactly is the situation. Once in Rauri, I was waiting in the guest house and about five, six professors came on their bikes. Came and told me, Mother, we have come to warn you about a particular gentleman. I said, who is this gentleman? They gave the name of this gentleman. I said, you have to be very careful, he's a politician. I said, all right, that's all you know about him? He said, yes. So you have to be very careful. I said, now I'll tell you about him. That this man has not married his wife. She's the wife of somebody else. And he has eloped with this woman. And the child is his. But this lady was raped by him. That's how he's got the child. When I started telling you, know, they all started raising their eyebrows and opening their eyes. I said, Mother, how do you know? I said, you are fine. Whatever I am saying, is it true or not? They were completely stunned. They went back and then reported to me that, Mother, it's surprising what you said was the truth. So on vibrations, you can know everything. But those who try to decide things without vibrations can make mistakes till you reach a certain stage where you don't have to spread your hands to ask, just you know. But to go to that stage, you have to first of all surrender your discretion to vibrations. Now some people don't have proper vibrations. Maybe their vishuddhis are bad. They should take proper care of their Vishuddhis. Even then, if they don't have some physical problem on the Vishuddhi, they can feel it within themselves. What chakras are catching? What is happening to this gentleman? Normally, because we are in modern times, the people who are possessed appear more beautiful than the people who are not possessed. Once we had a lady who came to us in our program, she was completely possessed, thin like a green stuff, absolutely. And everybody, that was the beginning of surgery, felt that what a beautiful woman has come. I told them to keep her out of the hall for the time being. They couldn't understand. Then she got cured and she looks really different now. To me, she is very beautiful. The beauty that was seen at that time must be the camouflage of the negativity that people saw. Like as you see these cinema actresses, cinema actors and some of the clowns who move as presidents, they that. You can see it large on their faces. 
how horrid they are. But unless and until you yourself are of that level and sincere, you won't be able to make it out. Today what we are doing is to awaken within us this Ekadasha Rudra force, which will help you to fight your own negativity and fight the negativity of the whole world. Now we have so many hands, so many people with different, what we call them, Ayudha, means the weapons. All these weapons are with you. They are within you. And you can definitely use them. But first you must know what weapons you are carrying and how to use them. There is so much blind faith, there is so much of wrong ideas, so much of organizational uh, fortresses they have built. All kinds of nonsensical things are going on in this world. But they will all be finished. Nobody will know anything about that except that they might know as some villainous creatures on this earth. Ultimately the living will exist. We have to know that we know the living force and we have to be very sure about it and we have to be proud about it that we know what is the living force. Then this Ekadasha Rudra within us becomes very strong. Anybody who tries to trouble you will have a nice punch. Any organization which tries to subdue Sahaja Yoga or in any, any way harm it will have a nice time. Like you know I went for Muff Griffin show and he misbehaved. Next week that show was closed up. No more. In India there was a newspaper which tried to make a funny article out of me. The newspaper was closed up for months together. Just it happens. I don't say anything of the kind. But the way things happen is very surprising. How this Ekadash is now active. Also, the most significant thing is that this Ekadasha is going to act only in Kali Yoga, in these modern times. Earlier it was not going to act because there was hardly one uh, guru who is today a guru, must have been a sitan last time. Only one horrible uh, Rakshasa there. So it was very easy to kill. To kill Kansa, it took no time for Sri Krishna, or to kill Ravana, it took no time for Sri Ravana. And once they are killed, the whole thing becomes clean start. But here they are like mosquitoes. So many of them, one after the other, there is no end to it. And they have entered also into the being of human beings, giving them diseases, all kinds of problems and tortures. So the problem is much more deeper and very, very complicated. That is why the Ekadasha Rudra, which has got eleven destroying powers, we say that there are ten directions, you can say. And this is the eleven. So ten from outside, one from inside. All these eleven forces can act onto anyone who tries to hamper the progress of Sahaja Yoga or even to say something against you or against you. Anybody who tries to trouble it will act. 
on the physical level it appears on your forehead here. The Ekadasha Nidra shows on your forehead and you get a swelling over here. Some people you must have seen have a fur over here and a huge big thin coming up. Mostly the cancer patient, if you see them, they have from left arthritis to the right side, right or not, bump there uh, on the right hand side. And there are some who have got on the left hand side. So the, from the left hand side, it rises, goes to the right side, and the one which rises from the right side goes to the left side. The more dangerous ones are which go to the right side because they are the ones who are very sly, which we cannot see, which are hiding, which can harm you very much. So all these horrible things that are acting today can be completely destroyed if we develop our Ekadasha Rudra within ourselves. They are not so powerful. One surgery can kill thousands of them. Why? They cannot harm even one surgery. So they are really powerless before you. They have no way of torturing you. In case you are a powerful person, they will all disappear and disappear forever. I remember once there were three surgeons in India who used to go by a particular road in the village. So one lady got possessed and she started to ho, 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 ho like that. So they said, why are you here? She said, I, we are here in this lady to tell you that please tell these three surgeries not to go by the road because now we have run away from all the villages and we are just residing in that area. And if the surgeries go through that also the whole night will be jumping around. So better ask these three surgeries not to come that way so that at least we'll have some place to reside. These are, as I told you, born out of the circulation of evolution. So these are dead, dead people. And these dead people can, in their circle bodies, enter into us and form entities. And those entities can grab us and can possess us. Such possessed people look quite normal. As I was saying today, homosexuality, uh, over-sexuality, no sexuality, uh, then we can say uh, a, no aesthetics or too much of art, artistic uh, tendencies. Then we can say too much of eating and hunger or eating nothing at all, uh, fasting, then not afraid of anyone. What's wrong? For everything, what's wrong? Not afraid of God. Or afraid of even an ant. Then there are people who feel guilty all the time. Or those who make others feel guilty as if the other person is good for nothing. They too. Plus, we have another kind who are very, very cruel, that they can entrap people, can make their own slaves, can work out anything horrible, wars, by their own talking. And there are others who subjugate themselves to these evil people and accept their dominance and try to destroy other people in the glory of these dominating personalities. Then comes the area of Sahaja where 
nobody can enter it. You are perfectly happy there. Ekadashas are standing around you on your forehead to look after that A. They are watching, they are guards, and nobody can harm you. You are very nicely settled down there in the Sastrava, and nothing can touch you, nothing can even bring a slur on you. They are very alert, and they have many facets. Each deity has many facets, and all these facets are all the time throwing light in that area so that there is no intruder to enter in. This is what you have got within yourself. And when anybody tries to enter into this area of Sahasrara, immediately they react and can harm the other man to such an extent that you are yourself amazed and you don't know how it has happened. But to develop this force, we have to meditate with sincerity, with understanding, not with just words before the photograph to say whether I surrender myself to you, this. Sincerely, because the deities know who is sincere, who is innate, who is the one who is really trying to rise and ascend. It is a struggle, in a way. It is a struggle. But it is not the struggle which will not bring you any fruits. Otherwise, all other struggles give you no fruits. But this struggle is so simple and so already explained and worked out that you don't have to worry too much. So today we have to invite all these forces of Ekadasha to destroy the negativity in this Kaliva completely. Also to pray that if there is any negativity within us, it should be destroyed. If there is any negativity against Sajuga, it should be destroyed. Anywhere in our character and in our understanding, if there is any negativity, it should be destroyed. This is today's message for you on Ekadasha. May God bless you.
will take the three maha mantras We thank you Shri Mata ji for this beautiful collective morning meditation.
let's all bow down to shri mata ji raise our mother kundalini and put bandhan we'll join again tomorrow at the same time for the collective morning meditation jai shri mata ji Thank <laughs> you.